All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Design Coffee Break. I am Lisa, and I'll be your coach today. Let us know you're here, where you're from, and what kind of classes you'd like to see from Post My Wall, if there's any particular um, things you'd like us to teach you how to do in Post My Wall, or if there's any of the tools you'd like us to do a demo, let us know. So the idea behind Design Coffee Break is to deliver a few tips that will help you get more out of Post My Wall in 10 minutes, about the time it will take you to drink a cup of coffee. So I know Susie has her kabug and Audrey, and we are ready to go. Today, we're gonna to show you some unique photo effects and filters that will help you make your photos on your designs really pop. Um, it, these are fun techniques, and I, I think you're really gonna enjoy them. If you have any friends who might benefit from this video, please do share. And this class will live here on our Facebook page, so you can come back and watch whenever you'd like. So I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. Susie and Audrey are in the San Francisco Bay Area. Susie, has anybody checked in yet? Oh, we got the we, we have 55 people joining us this morning. So uh, drop Excellent. us a note where you're watching from. Give us a wave. If you have questions, we will get back to you on them as soon as possible. All right. So I'm going to open up a template here. I've already selected one to save time. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit too. Well, so you can see this is for, let's say, a jewelry collection, new collection coming soon. And there's a photo in the background. And I'm going to show you the effects on these two photos up top here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to play with the edge effects. Now, if you click on the photo and you are in the edit menu, one of the top of things under effects, you can see the top one is edge effects. So right now it says none. And I encourage you to go in here and play with this and see what you can do. Um, but right now we're going to go, we're going to do curved. And so I'm going to increase the curve. You can customize the curve. Um, I'm going to incur, I'm, I guess I'm concerned you guys can see this in, in Facebook. So I'm going to make this pretty curved. I'm going to take it all the way up to 20. And the other one too to match. and zoom back out. So you can see that we've made those photos stand out just a little bit more and a little more interesting by changing the edge. And another edge option, you know, like I said, there's a lot of effects. There's torn paper, scratched, circular, um, heart-shaped, oval. I'm gonna show you just one more, scratched. And you can see that gives it kind of, I'll zoom in again. You can see that gives it kind of a, a sort of rustic, softer look. Take off, I'm gonna take those off again. Done. Can also do the next one down, shadows, right? You can add a light shadow, a strong shadow, or a custom shadow. I'm gonna do the strong shadow, and you can see that's on the bottom. If you do the custom shadow, you can actually pick the color of your shadow and you can decide, you know, you can move it around. So if you wanted it on the left in the bottom as opposed to the right, or you wanted the shadow on the top, you can do that. Under shadow is glow, light glow and strong glow. And let's zoom in and you can see it just makes it like there's a little bit of light around the edge. And that again, makes that photo stand out. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the glow again and get rid of the shadow again. One of the other things you can do is add a border. Rectangular or rounded edges. I'm going to pick rectangular. And you can see we can make it thicker. I'm going to make it pretty, you know, really thick. Um, usually they look best when they're just a little, you know, you can do a, a skinny border, whatever you like, and you can customize the color of that border. So I like to pick from design. Um, you know, I could do the yellow, I could do the light pink. Um, let's do the light pink this time. And again, do a border, rectangular. I'm gonna give it same light pink as the other and just make it thicker to match. So looks pretty good, huh? So I'm gonna get rid of that now. Go back to no border to show you our next effect. Okay, next down on the list are your filters. And I'm gonna show you the filters with the video instead of um, with the photos. 
So I'm going to skip right down here to tint. And what a tint is, is when you put kind of a light, transparent, translucent film of a color over top of a photo, or you could even do a, you know, you could do a rectangle and do it over your whole design and it makes everything kind of match. You know, say for instance, you had, these photos look pretty good together, but if you had, you know, one that was cool colors and one that was warm colors and you wanted them to match, if you put a, you know, if you put the same tint over top of them, they, it'll bring them together. So we'll show you that. We're gonna do first one first. We're gonna turn the tint on and we're still gonna use that light pink. And you can see with the tint that you got to fix the opacity. If it was all the way opaque, it would be um, you know, opaque and you wouldn't be able to see your photo, but you just slide it down, you know, just the right, depending on the effect you want, you might want it heavier, you might want it, you know, just, I'm gonna put it on just 10, just barely there, just to give it a little bit of a tint and to make it match the rest. And we're gonna do the same thing with our other photo. And you can see that now the two of them kind of look like they came from the same set. Uh, it brought them together. So our final thing is we're gonna show you how to use, as I said before, the, uh, the filters. So we're gonna re replace these with videos. Remember, you just have to click, come over here on the right and click replace. Tell it at the top that you want a video, a stock video, and we want a ring. And here's the blue one. Replace the video. Replace this one now. And we'll do the bride, the groom putting the ring on the bride's finger, replace the video. So you can see now we have two videos and you know, say I wanted this to look sort of, um, vintage, I could come down to filters and I could fill it in sepia. Hit push play again. So you can see that kind of gives it, it makes that those photos really stand out. And I, I don't love the yellow of the sepia against the pink. So I'm gonna instead change that to black and white. All right, push play again. And so you can see that by changing those photos to black and white, they really stand out. We of course could have been the opposite where the background photo was uh, more black and white. And then these the videos on top were in color and uh, that would have really made them pop. So that is it for today's design 